So we have some breaking news that we need to get to because President Biden just did something that is going to make America safer and the entire world safer as we speak. Now, I want to explain what's going on, how he did this, and what this means for you and I living here in the United States. So I'll break this down in just a moment. This is a video you do not want to miss. I also recommend you share this with your friends, your family, and your colleagues over on Facebook so they too know exactly what is going on. But all I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So yes, President Biden just did something that is going to make America safer for all, or at least that is what he said. Just listen to this. This is President Biden speaking just a short while ago Listen to what he had to say. Day for Europe, and it's a good day for world peace, and for real. This is consequential. I just signed into law the national security package that was passed by the House of Representatives this weekend and by the Senate yesterday. It's going to make America safer. It's going to make the world safer. And it continues America's leadership in the world, and everyone knows it. I want to stop it right there. We're going to continue to listen to this in just a moment, but he said it's going to make America safer. It's going to make the world safer and it continues America's leadership and the world knows it. Here's what I can tell you. President Biden just signed a bill for $95 billion. This is the foreign aid package. There's uh, like there's $95 billion is going to go to Israel. It's going to go to uh, the Indo-Pacific, which is mainly Taiwan. And it's also going to go to Ukraine. There's also another provision in that bill. It includes a ban to TikTok because right now what we are hearing is that here in the United States, we are at risk because we are seeing that Chinese or the Chinese company ByteDance who owns uh, TikTok, they are able to look at all of our information, see where we are going, see where we're moving, see where we buy things. They are able to pretty much look into our phones. That's at least according to the Biden administration. But the interesting thing is, did he really make America safer? Because there was one thing that was not included in this $95 billion bill. That included something for the US border, additional security. Because what we are seeing right now is there is nothing for our border. Just look at this article. This is from Fox News. And it says nothing more backwards than US funding Ukraine border security, but not our own says House Freedom Caucus takes issue with foreign aid package for not addressing the southern border. But what's crazy about this is that at the same time, we are seeing a potential ban of TikTok. And I'll, I'll explain why it's a potential ban. Just look at this article. This is from the Gazette. It says surge of Chinese immigrants crossing border triggles, triggers national security concerns. That is an article from just yesterday. Keep this in mind. What we are facing right now is more Chinese immigrants are coming into the United States. They are sneaking across the border and fanning out. That, according to the Biden administration, is not a security concern. But TikTok is. TikTok, the thing that you see people dancing, people singing, people mowing their lawns, eating, right? All these different things. That's a concern. But you know, tens of thousands of Chinese migrants coming into the U.S. or people from Venezuela that are known gang members, people on the terrorist watch list being released into the U.S. That's not a national security issue. That's the problem that millions and millions of Americans have right now. The crazy part is Republicans also voted for this exact same bill. Why? What are Republicans getting? What, what are we going to see? I want to play a little bit more of this, this uh, Biden uh, you know, speech. He just delivered this uh, you know, hours ago, but listen to this. It gives vital support to America's partners and they, so they can defend themselves against threats to their sovereignty. And I'm going to pause it right there again. This bill, the $95 billion foreign aid package, it gives uh, our allies more assistance so, that, so they can fight for their sovereignty. Well, what about our security here in the U.S.? Are we ever going to see any money for the U.S. southern border? 
Let's keep listening. And to the lives and freedom of their citizens. And it's an investment in our own security. Because when our allies are stronger, and I want to make this point again and again, when our allies are stronger, we are stronger. Interesting. When our allies are stronger, when we give them money, we give them, you know, more munitions, we are stronger. Potentially. But are we also weaker? This is the next question. Are we also weaker because we are sending all of our resources to other countries as opposed to keeping them here in-house and securing our border? Well, that's a question that, honestly, I can't answer because I don't know what the Biden administration is thinking. Now, I, I want to explain a couple things. What we know is that based off of multiple surveys, 70% of Americans were against any funding going to Israel and to Ukraine. But later on in this speech, which I'm not going to go over it because it's like a, uh, well, it's a decent, the speech is somewhat long, okay? It's not like hours, but we're not going to go over a 10, 15 minute video. Anyway, the but President Biden talks about how if we do not provide resources and funding to Ukraine and Israel, we are potentially going to be a target because we're going to have to go and battle with Russia. We're going to have to put troops on the ground, Russian troops against U.S. troops, and we are going to go to war. Because if Ukraine loses, Russia is going to try and invade a NATO country. There's no proof of that, but that is what the Biden administration and some Pentagon officials have said. Here's the thing. TikTok. And yes, we're always going back to TikTok now. TikTok is used by 150 million Americans. It's banned in India. It is banned in China. China has a different version of TikTok. It's very, uh, well, it's not so loosey-goosey. It's very conservative, right? They are monitoring what is being put on their platform, but it's a different version of TikTok. TikTok the actual app is banned in China, which is interesting. So it's banned in the country that is that owns it, but we allow it here in the U.S. Interesting. So there's 150 million Americans here in the United States that use TikTok, that have an account. More than 100,000 people, 100,000 migrants enter the U.S. every single month. We are expecting, we're going to see, over 100,000 Chinese migrants enter the U.S. just in the next six months. In the next six months. So we got 150 million people using a Chinese app, and that is a concern. And federal government wants to shut that down. But when it comes to you know more than 100,000 people, Chinese migrants entering the U.S. who could be spies, they could just be average you know Chinese citizens that are looking for a different life tired of the, the the Communist Party, tired of the uh, you know all the, the, the politics over there, tired of just the economy, right? Want something different, right? Land of the free coming here to the US. That that may be it. But do we take that risk? That's the question I bring up. So here's what's being reported. Democrats are calling on this TikTok ban because of national security. But they say the border isn't an issue. Uh, because Democrats' not-so-secret plan is to get uh, more migrants the ability to vote in the future. Not only that, according to one reporter says, they're also working to get migrants included into the next census, which would allow how many electoral votes that state would receive, and also how many representatives that state gets in the House of Representatives. So, all I can tell you right now is, did President Biden seriously make America safer, or is he trying to say that it's safer, include a TikTok ban, when in reality, our borders are still open, tens of thousands of people are crossing every single week, and we have no clue if we are bringing in terrorists, or if we are bringing in the next, you know, Nobel, Nobel Peace Prize winner, or a next world athlete, or next teacher, we have no clue. But I wanted to bring this to your attention because President Biden just said he just made America safer. My question to you is, do you feel safer because we just sent $95 billion to Israel, Ukraine, and to the Indo-Pacific in addition to a potential TikTok ban? Or do you think they just 
brush the, the border security issue under the rug and we'll never deal with it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. But as of today, that is what we know. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.